Hello everyone, welcome to this online class. My name is Roshan, your geography teacher, and in this video, we shall discuss about atmospheric pressure. I have given you enough resources, PDF, to understand the chapter because this chapter is a very very important chapter and bit difficult. But once you understand the concept of this atmospheric pressure. It is very easy to understand it and it is very uh, easy you find it. So let us start with introduction and the concept of the air pressure. Here two terms are there to understand atmosphere and pressure. Both together defining atmospheric pressure. Atmosphere means in simple term it is air. Right, and pressure in simple term it is the continuous force that is exerted or weight of the air. So, both when you combine together atmospheric pressure means the weight of air in a particular place. So, that is how we define it in simple term. We are surrounded by air on earth but we do not see it yet we feel it as we breathe we feel it and we do not feel the pressure of it so air pressure and winds are invisible elements of weather which influences all other components of weather that is temperature or humidity all right that's why the variation in air pressure the air pressure will vary or will change place to place due to the differential that occurs of the temperature and heating of the atmosphere. So the atmospheric pressure will be high when there is a low temperature and the atmospheric pressure is low when there is high temperature. So inversely related depending upon the heating of the atmosphere the change of the atmospheric pressure is same in a particular place and that differs place to place. Same amount of the atmospheric pressure is not there, somewhere it is high pressure, somewhere it is low pressure. Due to this difference, there is a flow of wind. The wind always flow from high pressure to low pressure. So that is what the movement of the air takes place. Now let us understand the concept of air pressure. Like all other materials or any other objects has weight on it. So air also has weight. Us, how can we see that when we see, uh, take the example of cylinder. Cylinder is filled with gas and is having a lot of weight on it, right. You cannot lift it up because it is filled with gas and when a bit shake it what happens it dashes with the uh, container vessel so it has weight why we feel the weight because the gas is compressed in a cylinder right so uh, and as it is restricted but on earth surface no restriction is there so what happened is open area and because due to these the air is moving freely so we don't feel that much of pressure but pressure is there atmospheric pressure or atmosphere is bounded or closed by the land and sea so land is the ultimate limit that is surrounding the earth's surface and due to the gravity the air also is not able to escape beyond its limit, right. So due to gravity, the air is confined towards the surface of the earth and towards the landform and the sea. And beyond the atmosphere, that is, let us say example of 480 kilometer, or the higher we move, the density of the air reduces and this air is trapped within the atmosphere because of the gravity. It is pulling down 
and keeping the amount of the air that is present right so air pressure therefore can be defined the force exerted against the surface by continuous collision of gas molecules right so there is another two terms the atmospheric pressure is determined by two factors that is temperature and density all right so when temperature is more there is a low pressure when temperature is less there is a high pressure inversely related right but the density becomes uh, the surface of the earth having more density of the air because it is um, close together and it is due to the gravity they are having the more thickness or denser on the surface of the earth so since air pressure is proportional to density as well as temperature it is proportional to the density and as well as the temperature but the change of either of these density or either or of temperature will have the change in the atmospheric pressure if there is a uh, low pressure or if there is a high pressure it is due to the change of density or the that is temperature so it can be described as pressure is equal to uh, density and temperature right so an increase in either density or temperature will cause an increase in pressure the atmosphere exerts a pressure of 1034 gram per square centimeter at sea level okay so 1034 gram per square centimeter remember this unit so it is the normal pressure that is found at the sea level and on the surface or on all human beings this amount of pressure is exerted by the atmosphere at sea level on all human beings it may be plants it may be animals it may be rocks but we don't feel it why we don't feel it because we also breathe and when we breathe the internal and external pressure is balanced due to this reason we don't feel the pressure there is another universal fact is that air pressure decreases with increasing altitude altitude means the height when we move towards the higher part of the surface of the earth the pressure will be decreasing let's take example like when you move towards the hilly areas so when you move towards the hilly areas what happens as the air becomes thinner and thin, thinner on moving towards the hilly areas so pressure also will be decreasing so because of that on certain height there is a disturbance of the air pressure and some people experience the nose bleeding and ear bleeding as well so the like mountaineers have to face a lot of difficulty because of the much reduced atmospheric pressure at the greater heights so when they move towards the high mountains for any uh, exploring or any for any uh, mountaineering uh, activities what happens they need to carry the oxygen with them this this is because of the higher we go the thinner becomes the atmosphere the higher move we move the uh, density of the air will be thin we have also studied about the layer of the atmosphere the stratosphere troposphere uh, exosphere and mesosphere all these things are layers are there due to the according to the density of the air that is present over there right so on moving towards a higher level of the atmosphere the air becomes thin the atmospheric pressure is measured by most accurately with the help of mercury barometer there are so many uh, instruments are there to measure the atmospheric pressure that is like aneroid barometer or uh, 14 barometer but with mercury barometer exact or accurately the air pressure can be measured the rise and fall of the atmospheric pressure is indicated by corresponding rise and fall of the mercury column in the glass tube so due to the mercury uh, mercury column that is present in the tube in the instrument 
will be giving the reading of the rise and fall of the atmospheric pressure. The standard C pressure is given as 1013 MB that is 1013 millibar the unit of the uh, measurement of the atmospheric pressure is millibar at a temperature of 15 degree Celsius at altitude of 45 degree north. This is equivalent or 29.92 inches or 76 millivolts of mercury. So this is this reading is uh, given in the instruments. So this much of mercury will be given that is 76 millivolts of mercury. It is a normal that means means a normal level of uh, atmospheric pressure at the sea level. So going uh, or reducing uh, beyond these or above this will be having the high pressure or low pressure of the atmospheric pressure right now that is the word pressure gradient what is pressure gradient the decrease of pressure between two points along a line perpendicular to the isobars divided by the distance between the points is called the pressure gradient means two points when we compare point a and point b so there there is a difference of the atmospheric pressure point Y may be let us say example of 990 and there is a, in point B it is 1004. So what happened the difference of these two A and B is known as pressure gradient right. In other words pressure gradient is the rate of change of pressure per unit horizontal distance that is horizontal distance at the same distance if there is a change of the unit of the atmospheric pressure that is termed as pressure gradient. So on the map the weather map so many lines will be shown. So this isobar means in this term that is the imaginary line joining the same amount of the atmospheric pressure on a particular place that is known as isobar. Isobar closely uh, drawn closely on the weather map represent a steep pressure gradient. So, like uh, when you move toward when you go to higher classes like 10th standard there is uh, contour lines are there. So, when contour lines when you see observe it if they are closely drawn that means you understand it is the steep slope. Similarly, in the atmospheric pressure if the isobars are closely drawn that means there is a steep pressure gradient sudden movement of the air will be there or wind will be there. If the isobars are far away or in terms of contour lines if the contour lines are far away that means it, it is representing that it is gentle slope that means a slope here not so steep. Similarly in isobars what happens if the isobars are far away places that means it is a gentle pressure gradient method. that means the movement of the air is not very fast. Isobars drawn closely on the weather map represent a steep pressure gradient while isobars drawn farther apart indicate a weak pressure gradient. Pressure gradient affects the velocity of the wind as air or wind moves from high pressure to low pressure. The velocity the speed the velocity of the speed that is from the high pressure to low pressure depends upon the pressure gradient. If they are closely uh, uh, drawn it will be having the more speed if they are drawn very far away it will be less speed. So, the velocity of or speed of wind depends on the pressure difference between the two places. Wind speed is more when pressure gradient is more or steep. Then again wind speed is less when pressure gradient is less or gentle. So these were the uh, few points regarding the concept of the air pressure. Right. So any doubt, any uh, queries you have please do ask in uh, WhatsApp or in YouTube. There are uh, many things to learn. I have given enough information regarding the atmospheric pressure. Now you will be able to understand uh, exactly what is the 
content what is the information that is given in the atmospheric pressure or regarding this topic in next video we shall discuss about the factors affecting the atmospheric uh, pressure or factors affecting air pressure thank you so much have a nice day Thank you.